Hello, welcome to another video from prepeasy.com. In this video, we will teach you simple tricks to remember the classification of enzymes as well as examples of enzymes. Before we move on, if you like this video, please like, comment and share with your friends and also subscribe and press the bell button to get notified whenever we upload new videos. So let's get started. As you know, enzymes are classified into primarily six categories, oxidoreductases, transferases, hydrolases, isomerases, ligases, lyases. We have a very simple mnemonic to remember this. The mnemonic is over the hill. O represents oxidoreductases. T represents transferases, H represents hydrolases, I represents isomerases, L represents ligases, and then L represents lyases. If you find it difficult to remember over the hill, you can also remember on hill top. In this mnemonic, O represents oxidoreductases, H, I, L, L represents hydrolases, isomerases, ligases, lyases respectively, and T of top represents transferases. Now we have several mnemonics or tricks to remember different examples by category. So let's discuss each category one by one. So the first one is oxidoreductases. As you know, Oxidoreductases enzymes catalyzes the transfer of hydrogen or oxygen atom or electrons from one substrate to the other. These are also called as redox reactions where one substrate is reduced and the other one is oxidized. So the examples of this category are oxidases, dehydrogenases, oxygenases, peroxidases and catalases. So, oxidases, oxygenases and peroxidases are easy to remember because all the three enzymes have oxy in their name. Now, you know, ox is also called as cattle. So, you can easily remember catalases. In addition to these four enzymes, just remember dehydrogenases as dehydrogenases helps in redox reaction. There is no mnemonic for dehydrogenases, so you will have to remember this. So the next mnemonic is for the second category, transferases. As you all know, transferases catalyzes the transfer of a functional group from one substrate to the other. The examples are transaminases and kinases. To remember this, just remember the statement that you get transferred to a kin's place. So transfer will help you remember transferases and transaminases and kin will help you remember kinases. So the next category is hydrolases. Hydrolases are the enzymes that catalyzes hydrolysis or breakdown of the substrate. The examples of this category are esterases, digestive enzymes, lysozyme, and acid phosphatases. So to remember these examples, just remember the simple story that on an Easter, you ate a lot of food and water. Water is hydro. So hydro will help you remember that these are the examples of hydrolases. And because you ate a lot, your digestive enzymes are now breaking the food. And because of the food, you got acidity. So Easter will help you remember esterases. Digestive enzymes will help you remember digestive enzymes or lysozyme. And then you got acidity. Acidity will help you remember acid phosphatases. 
So the next enzyme category is isomerases. And as you all know, isomerases are the enzymes that catalyzes the intramolecular changes in the substrate. The examples are isomerase and fumarase. These are very simple to remember because both words contain marase, which is common. So the next category of enzymes is lyases. Lyases catalyzes the non-hydrolytic removal of a group or addition of a group to a substrate. The examples include decarboxylases and aldolases. There is a simple mnemonic to remember this. Just think about laces. Laces are present in shoes as well as boxing gloves. So Aldo is a famous shoe brand. So just remember Aldo laces and then boxing gloves will help you remember decarboxylases. So the last category of enzymes is ligases or synthetases. These enzymes catalyzes joining of two molecules by forming new bonds. The example is citric acid synthetases. So synthetases will help you remember that this is an example of synthetases. In order to remember ligases, just relate it with the word gas. So when you have too much of citric acid, you know, you will have gastric trouble. So gas will help you remember ligases and citric acid will help you remember citric acid synthetases. I hope you find this video helpful in your exam preparations as well as various medical entrance and postgraduate medical entrance exams. Thank you for watching.